Hi guys and welcome back to Astroneer. In this episode we're going to head up to the moon, whatever it's called. I forget what it's called, but basically we're going to create a moon base. Uh, we're on Terran still at the moment. I don't know how this thing got flipped over, but let's flip it back. Mm, kind of did the job. Anyway, yeah, so we've got this uh, spaceship but fully loaded up now. We've got a bunch of compound, a bunch of resin, we got some aluminium, we got some copper, we got some lithium, all the stuff I think... We need to kind of get started on a new base. We've got Habitat there, a couple of solar panels, a bit more resin on the backpack, a couple more solar panels. Like I say, hopefully everything we need to uh, to get started. So, uh, with no further ado, let's get off. I think that's pretty much everything we need. Yeah, well, we'll see. We can always come back. I'm sure we've got enough fuel if there's anything else that we need. But let's leave Terran for now and see what... Uh, See what the moon has to offer us. Guys, if you're enjoying this series, please do hit that like button. It really helps me out. You guys have been smashing that like button lately on the videos. And it really has made a difference. Um, I just need to get away from this planet, don't I? Yeah, it really has made a difference the amount of the amount of growth the channel's getting. Which is great because, you know, that's what's going to help me keep making videos. Right, let's go off to Baron is what it's called. Uh, right, where to land? We did actually land here before. You know, I think we actually landed there before. That looks... Yeah, this is the place we landed. So, And it's like, you know, it's a pretty... I was going to say it's decently flat. Yeah, there's some decent areas here to do stuff right. So we can tab out to start with. I don't think we've got really any power. But let's put down the habitat. Not sure how I'll make this kind of become... I guess I have to press... Yeah, that like situates. Okay, cool. So we've got that placed in now. Uh, I'm going to need resin, which I've got to start with. So let's let's build out once. Yeah, and let's build out a second time as well before we actually start doing anything. Uh, so build out again. And we'll turn this into... First off, what's the first kind of thing we're going to need? I guess a printer. It says copper's needed. So let's just start grabbing our kind of... what. Aluminium, I guess that's the copper one over there. Let's just grab it and chuck it on there. Yeah, that is copper. Let's put that on there and build it. Should have enough to build ourselves. Did I just bring four aluminium? Just enough for a truck? Is that what I did? Ah, oh, just a little bit more. Just a tad more. Oh yeah, I wanted some to build the actual station with as well, didn't I? Right, build the vehicle bay. Yeah, so see these stations are starting to charge up off the solar panels now. If we put a battery down on one of them, here, that battery, sh once these have uh, fully charged, why aren't they charging anymore? Oh, is it because that one's charging first? Yeah, there we go. Right, now the battery's charging, so that's going to hold charge for us. So that's excellent. Right, we should have the aluminium we need to build the truck. Uh, we're just going to need to move that across for a second. Let's just put it down. Am I short one aluminium? That would be a shame if I am. Yeah, it looks like I am. It must be somewhere, though. I don't think we actually came with not enough. There it is. It just got mixed up into there somehow. So let's get the truck built because, you know, we're going to need that. Build the truck. Cool. Might as well get as much as we can done while it's light out. I wonder how this is going to actually react on the moon surface because I can like jump extra high. I wonder if it's going to like fly really far off uh, off hills and things like that. Right, we're going to need a seat which we'll put on separately. Make that cool. We've got oh, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. We got our seat. In fact, you know what? I want to put on uh, crane. Oh my gosh, these things are cool. Storage though first. Definitely want storage first. Let's move our compound over to there. I say move it over. We've got empty storage units already. We're running out of compound. I think we're gonna we're gonna run out pretty quickly here. We're gonna need to go exploring. Okay, sweet, cool. Right, let's stick some storage on the side because we can now. I know we can. I've done it before. Unless they updated the game and now you can't. Yeah, you can. I can see it doing it. There we go. One. Don't really need the unknowns anymore. If we can bring some back, we may as well because what have I got left up there? Just resin. Okay, cool. Well, resin can come down and stay down here somewhere. What have I just done? Okay, game glitched out slightly there, but no big drama. Okay, so 
truck seat. I think we haven't got what we need to actually make it, but I think what we'll do is when we go out, we'll possibly take... I was going to say let's take the battery, but let's just take two solar panels. This truck's got a... Have I just built off there by accident? Oh, well, no biggie. Right, we've got what we want there, I think. Let's... We can build out one more time, at least, because... No idea what went on there. I think, you know, the game is in early access, so let's not be too critical of it. Uh, let's stick some resin on the backpack. I'm going to need three to build out, yeah, to start with. Let's see what else we could possibly... Uh, see what else we could possibly build. Right, stick the resin in there. One, two... And um, what other stations are left? We've got the printer, fuel condenser we don't really need necessarily. Smelter we probably are going to need. Vehicle bay, trade platform. Trade platform. Vehicle bay we're probably going to need. We haven't got the aluminium to build it, but that's what we'll go out kind of trying to look for now, I guess. Okay, cool. I think we've got a couple of solar panels on the, uh, on the old ship there. Our backpack's more or less empty, so let's hit the road and see what there is to find on Baron the Moon. Okay, cool. I can see some titanium already, so let's go and kind of start farming that stuff. Why not? Hey, why not? It would be good if eventually they introduce into this... No, it's aluminium ore actually. But that's exactly what we needed, so that's cool. Let's just get as much of this as we can while we're here. Yeah, it would be cool if eventually they introduced into this game like... Uh, you know, maybe auto mining at, at a very high level, obviously, like something you could unlock and it's expensive, but you could like set up some kind of auto mining type thing. Have I just drained or no? I haven't drained the power. I thought I just drained all the power out of the vehicle, but no, it says no power and it doesn't recharge you fast. But you can actually, w once it says no power, as long as you tethered up to a vehicle, you can carry on drawing power from that vehicle for pretty much as long as you want until the vehicle runs out of power. Which actually won't be that long, but, you know, it doesn't matter that much. Pretty sure we're going to need aluminium to build the smelter, and we're going to need the smelter to get aluminium. So we might have created a catch-22 here, but let's keep looking around. We'll just get all the nearby stuff. Worst case scenario, I can zip back down to uh, Terran. And, uh, whoa, giant crater. Oh, my God. Right. Yeah, we can pop back down to Terran, uh, smelt some stuff up and bring it back. It's a bit of a pain. It'd be nice to do everything here because it would feel nice and self-sufficient. But, you know, we've got the option there if it comes to it. Oh, my. Oh, I'm going to have to build a ramp. Okay, I'm going to have to try a ramp out at some point in this. Lots of aluminium. Aluminium seems to be the predominant resource on this planet's surface, which, well, planet, moon, whatever, which is pretty cool because it would be a bit boring if we came up here and it was just like compound resin, compound resin like it is down on Terran. i am interested to see what the other planets are like. Also interested to see with future updates whether they're going to kind of, you know, add more resources, elements, whatever you want to call them. I wonder if that's something that will happen or whether we'll uh, just get kind of feature upgrades. What's this over here? What's green again? What is that? Is that copper? It might very well be copper. I'm not 100% sure there. Let's try it out. Oh, it's titanium. Okay, cool. What do we need titanium for? Oh, okay. This is the thing I've already come to. So I guess some kind of plant down there. Is that like a... Oh, it's an unknown. You know what would actually be a good idea? If we do actually collect the unknowns, because... Here's a thought. They might have aluminium in them. Okay. And that would be very useful for us, because I think we're going to need aluminium. Although, we can't even build a research centre now, I think about it. We can check that. We can check if we can build a resource centre. Have we got the resin to do it? I think we've still got enough resin. Yeah, we, we're going to need... What do we need to build the smelter? Let me select it. Smelter. Oh, no, it needs compound. Unfortunately, we do only have, only have the one compound. Oh, that's a shame, because that's quite simple. And I'm, Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Just thought of something. 
Yep, it was hidden in the crafting slot in my bag. Perfect. Smelter. Amazing. So we can smelt up all this aluminium. We can actually do that now. Easy. Easy street. Okay, cool. And that stuff's just all going to smelt. Perfect. I think we've just got to wait for it to recharge. No, it's already done it. Cool. One more and we've got ourselves like a really decent amount of aluminium. We could make a second truck. Probably easier than making a rover at this point because the like I say, aluminium is really easy to come across and the rover takes compound, which I haven't seen any of yet. But, you know... Uh, right, researcher. Like I say, that would be a good idea. Now I think about it. Right, let's bring this over. Move over for me. Move over here. I think I just need three. Just stick them on the backpack. It's easy to load them on when you do them on the backpack. I don't know if the researcher is really one of the necessary things that I want to be. I don't know if it's one of the necessary things that I really want to be doing, but it seems like it would be quite useful because if we find unknowns, it can at least make... It can at least make something of them. You know what, though? It needs a uh, compound that we don't have. Vehicle bay, trade platform we could build. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to leave that for now because I'm thinking... I'm thinking that a, uh, a Wajima call it would be the best... Would be the best thing for that, right? Stick that resin on there. We can use this storage. And let's go and further explore the planet. Yeah, I think these can be, like, cracked into. That's my theory with the drill. I wonder what we need to actually make a drill. We could build ourselves another another um, vehicle that specifically is like a drilling vehicle. So we could check that out. Build a new truck. We've got the aluminium to do so. So let's give that a go quickly. Let's see what we can do in terms of building the drill. Okay, so I managed to get the seats from the crashed uh, spaceship. Should be able to drop this right on top of the new the new rover. New rover, new truck. Uh, it's trying to jump into the seat that we actually want to put it in there. Crane. Looks cool. Storage. Oh, do I need to make the drill head and then attach it to the crane? Is that how it works? Solar panel storage. Wind turbine drill head. Copper. Uh, we've got plenty of copper. Let's make it. Okay. Yeah, not sure how this thing works. But I'm wondering if it attaches onto the crane. Well, it will store on there. Yeah, not sure. Let's try the crane out. What's the crane require? The crane No. Can't talk. The crane requires quapper. It does. Right. This might get it all done in one go. Here we go, yeah, let's build. Build a crane. Let's put our seat on. It still wants to put it on the back. Let's wait until it's done then. All right, the crane's built. Seat on. Right, okay, cool. That thing. That thing clips on the crane like that. Was it wanting to go on the side then as well? Can you put stuff on the side of the crane? Oh, you have to like get in the... Oh, that's cool. <gasps> wow. Okay, so that's going to use power as well, isn't it? We tab out. It folds back up. Oh, this is very cool. I like this. I like this very much, guys. Right. Hopefully, this will work. Right, we can get in the crane. Yep. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. It's fantastic. It just eats it away. So this looks like it just eats away all the rock. Did it? Oh, and it's actually got... It automatically puts the resources onto the vehicle for us. Okay, that's very cool. That is very cool. What do we do with this now, though? We've got, like, half a lithium. So it seems to be okay digging down pretty far, but you can't really, like, raise it up. That seems to be the problem I'm having here. Okay, cool. Anyway, guys, I think that's like the end of the episode, to be honest. We've got our moon base kind of set up. We've got a couple of vehicles. We've got a bit of power generation going. 
I think in the next one we'll look at a more efficient way to gain resources using the trade platform. We've been working on something, having a look at something where we can basically mass produce resources and make our living by trading them. Okay guys, if you're enjoying the series please do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.